So today in this video, I'm gonna name my top five men's UFC fighters. And reminder, if we get to 2,000 subscribers, I will give away a gift card. So subscribe, turn on those notifications, and most importantly, like the video. So number five on the list, I'm gonna say Conor McGregor. Even though he wasn't the best fighter right now, but when he was in his prime, he was so good. He beat Chad Mendez, Jose Aldo, which is an honorable mention. He beat so many tough fighters. And every time, it's always a brutal knockout. With his, Every time, if he lands that left hand, you're, you'll be knocked out. That's no cap. So make sure you always keep a guard up and watch out for his kicks too. They're so underrated. He can throw spin kicks. He can throw roundhouse kicks. He can do it all in the standing up position. So that's why I'm gonna say Conor McGregor's number five. So the next fighter that I'm gonna choose for number four is Demetrius Johnson, the Mighty Mouse. The reason why, he is so good. He is good in standing up fighting. He is good at going on the ground with his judo, his submission. They are so good. Especially one of his submission moves he did on in his title defense. He picked him up and he went into an arm bar and made the guy tap. Like, wow, I never seen that done before. That's a gaming move. Like, oh my God, that was nasty and one of the best UFC finishes of all time. So DJ or Demetrius Johnson, the Mighty Mouse, number four. So going at number three, we have Anderson Silva. Man, when he fights, it's so, jaw dropping like for real every time i see him he one of his best knockouts i see he always uses his head to move and stuff like to dodge and weave and stuff and then after uh they throw the opponent those punches at him he bam punches him which is so great oh my god every time i see him in the ring i'm like oh my god this guy is insane like who can stop that guy like he has been stopped before sometimes he dodges his head too much but Man, he is so good. That's why he's at number three because of his head movement. He has some great going in the ground and stuff. He can do it all. So that's why I'm gonna say Andrew Silva, number three. So for number two, this is so obvious, John Jones. He would be number one, but in, in his career, he took steroids and stuff, and he shouldn't have done that, like, bro. He was still a good fighter when he wasn't taking steroids. He would still knock people out. He would out uh, fight them. He would always out wrestle them. He is so, his reach is insane. Like it's like 84 or something, which is one of the longest reaches in the UFC. Like if you come close to him, he will knock you out. If you try to out wrestle him, he will still beat you in the ground. Like. He is known for his wrestling, but his strikes are insane as well, which is an unstoppable force. He should be undefeated, but with one of his fights, he won the fight, but I heard he brutalized him so much that he got disqualified, which I was, when I first saw that, I was so confused. But this guy should be undefeated. He is one of the best UFC fighters, but the next one is the greatest of all time. So the greatest UFC fighter of all time, I say Khabib the Eagle Nagumetov. The reason why I say Khabib, man, every time he takes you to the ground, you are done for, literally. He will freaking maul you. Like, he, every time he's on the ground, he's like, I must win this fight, and he just destroys him. Like, oh my God. I never seen a fighter but that loves to maul people. Like every time I see this guy, I'm like, oh, it's it's hard to watch. When he faced Conor McGregor, that's why he wasn't the greatest of all time because he couldn't wrestle uh, Khabib, so he would get mauled. Yeah, he couldn't wrestle him, so he got mauled, mauled and stuff, and and he outtired him, and Khabib won the match because he knows how to use his stamina. He knows how to win the fight no matter what. And if you're on the ground, you are done for. That's all I have to say. There is nothing to be said. So Khabib, the Eagle Nagumedov is number one because of him mauling.